Is it possible to be an objective scientist if you're also an activist? Science uh, is based on uh, objectivity, they say. But in the reality, the objectivity is uh, really, really difficult to get because uh, science is uh, uh, made from humans. Uh, and scientists are not gods. Scientists are just human that choice generally and often to be influenced from the society and the social pressure in the context in which they live. So my interest is not looking for science to have an objective and evidence-based approach. My interest is that Science become one of the root, uh, one of uh, the path to get a new paradigm, to shift towards a new paradigm. So science is just a part, is not the central part, is not the more credible part. Uh, indeed. Generally, science is not credible when we're talking about horses and dogs. So, also that is important to understand. So, it's important science from an ethical point of view. So, ethics that become master of science and not science that become master of ethics. I was born uh, following uh, the animal path and the animal part of the world. Uh, since I was a child. I uh, fight against other children that uh, capture uh, lucertole, lizards. lizards. I live in the south of Italy and there I make a lot of uh, activism against uh, illegal hunting, uh, protecting uh, wild animals, uh, but also uh, stray dogs uh, and taking care for horses. When I was uh, 16, I have already uh, read, uh, avevo già letto, <laughs> I have already read uh, all the book about animal behavior of that time. Uh, so, uh, my parents uh, or other friends, uh, they suggest to me, why you don't go to study veterinary medicine? But I was not interested in that. I was interested in understand the animal from a mental point of view, from an expressive point of view. So I decided to go to study biology uh, because inside biology uh, there, there was and there is ethology, the study of uh, animal behavior. So I was an activist to uh, protect uh, animals and uh, I tried through ethology at that time to make that in a more scientific way. So my background is, first of all, as uh, an activist about animal rights, wild animal rights, domestic animal rights, and so on. And then, uh, through science, uh, create more uh, power uh, to go forward in the change of paradigm about our coexistence with other animals. And I am uh, an activist. Activist doesn't mean immediately an emotive uh, person. <laughs> an activist, uh, indeed, is a cognitive person. Is a person that uh, uh, understand, try to understand uh, the right way to create a good coexistence for everyone, uh, human or non-human. So I always, I am an activist and that continuing the fight, uh, improving knowledge from a scientific point of view, uh, improving understanding from a philosophical point of view, improving application from a political point of view about animal rights and animal liberation. Then I decide to abandon uh, scientific research about horses, academic, because it was too much connected with the equestrian industry. 
and for me it was totally unuseful because my uh, intrinsic motivation to make research is to guarantee quality of life for horses, not to improve equestrian industry. Now, when someone say to me, I am an etologist or I apply etological science, I go in warning because uh, this kind of discipline is become from a naturalistic point of view to understand, observe, understand and try to interpret nature to is become something to use to manipulate animals for a better exploitation of animals. So for me this is a disruption between my um, original uh, desire to understand animal and then the application that generally for horses and dogs is connected with equestrian industry or dog training industry. So specism is uh, uh, real present uh, in many scientific contexts and the animal science context a lot. You have to take in consideration that there is white science and dark science, white ethology and dark ethology, equine ethology and equestrian ethology. What are we talking about today and what, what I want to see in the future is an improving of equine ethology and white ethology with it. Uh, for example, if we think to the horses, an example of uh, white ethology and white science uh, is, uh, for example, the study that uh, we made about the uh, exploratory process in horses, uh, in which we compare uh, different group of horses to understand how a horse that live in a, a social group, real social group, in a social cognitive context deal with a new situation, with novel object, with a new uh, context. What's the purpose of a study like that? The purpose is to have a better understand what the mean of the horse as cognitive animal confronting with a horse in a conventional uh, context uh, that uh, live isolated from other horses or that live together with other horses but without a familiar or adopting bond. This is an example. So how you can facilitate uh, as a owner, as someone that take care, a caregiver of horses, how you can facilitate a context in which the horse can create their own social context, real social context. And this is an example. An example of a dark science is connected with that vicious circle in which the horse is considered a flight animal, a prey, a reactive animal, and so you make some research uh, studying the behavior of a horse in a box uh, that deal with uh, some novel, uh, novel object that come out suddenly from the ground. Of course, if you, you are a horse <laughs> and you live in a box, uh, is already a uh, not correct situation for a horse and then start a air, a air balloon from the ground and they state ah, the horse uh, react on this balloon uh, the horse, uh, you see the horse fear the balloon so the horse is a reactive animal and so they, this kind of knowledge continuing to go and uh, nurture this vicious circle that the horse is a flight animal is a reactive animal that we have to train it to be sure in the uh, activity with him. <laughs> this is an example of dark science. So activism is important because make ethical statements uh, in which the science is important but also not. The science is just a tool, is not the master. Science have to be a tool, a humble tool.